want to tell you about what I have been thinking about. So why is this so dark? There we go. This is Sophie. She is zoomed in. Zoom out. This is Sophie. She's a princess. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So I have been free diving for a little while now. You guys know about that. I love scuba diving and free diving. However, unlike many Instagram and gentlemen, I don't have a Instagram husband. I do have a partner who loves free diving with me. However, he likes to go and do his own thing. So I'm kind of left by myself to try and get as much videos and photos for YouTube by myself. Typically, this doesn't bother me too much because I enjoy actually getting footage of the coral and everything, but I have been wanting to step up my game. Meaning that rather than just getting photos of the coral itself, I would like to get some cool shots of myself. Since I either dive with my big Canon EOS R5 or my little GoPro, I figured why not try and make myself some form of selfie stick. Recently, I've been trying to get more footage of myself underwater, and these are the results. So I'll, I'll let you judge for yourself. Meanwhile, my thoughts are if I have a selfie stick rather than just holding the GoPro like this, I can actually get it far enough away to get like cool shots. Slash, I can create some form of little weighted GoPro device that I can put on the bottom of the ocean that doesn't destroy the coral but can still get cool shots of me. And since you guys know I'm against creating waste by buying new things that I don't necessarily need, I thought why not try to create a little DIY selfie stick slash little mount for the GoPro. So let me show you my thinking. Some form of stick here and then some form of GoPro mount slash hair ties. I love hair ties. I use them for everything. And then for the weighted one. <laughs> also, side note, just had some avocado. Wanted to do the dishes, but this is my weekly watering. So, gotta do that later. I'm pretty sure that I do have some GoPro accessories somewhere in here. So welcome to my mess of a cupboard. Uh, I'm gonna check in this box. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I see GoPro. Okay, I'm not sure this is the best thing for underwater, but what if I attach it to you guys? Hey, this is the back of a GoPro. We don't need that. While I'm thinking about GoPros, I should probably charge mine considering we are going diving this weekend and it's currently attached to Justin's mask so let me go do that. Anyone else find these just really... Ah! Okay. Oh bro. Okay. Um, update. I cannot find my second GoPro so I assume it's somewhere in Ailey Beach uh, on my boat but I found this. Now, as you can tell from the ignorance of the puppy behind me, he has never seen this thing. We found this at a park. It is not ours. I did not buy this, so this would be a great reuse. So what do you reckon? Do you think I could use this as a sort of... So now I am in my dive room. Uh, you may be familiar with this dive closet tour from the other video I did. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to have a look at it. But as I mentioned there, I have a couple of weights down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna grab a few of those, also because it's getting colder. So I think we need some for this trip. But I was thinking, it's pretty heavy. I don't know, I think I need a soft weight. Let me keep digging. That's, ah, that's not there. Oh, I could maybe use some of this tape. That could be handy. I don't know. I don't have a solution right now. I thought I had some soft weights. Are they in my actual BCDs? No. I just feel like the little weights would be a better situation. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I can see anything which could be... I don't know. I'll keep thinking, guys. Ooh! 
Ooh. Give me some like bolts. How heavy is a GoPro? Hint, pins. Now, especially since I'm going on like a four day dive trip, I think, you see, wherever I go, he comes. Uh, I think it would just be great to have something I can just quickly kind of maneuver together, get some footage. Uh, me and a couple of my friends are taking the sailing boat out this weekend for three days and two nights. So I'm very excited. I've been trying to do like a bit of a sailing series, but it's still really stressful to film myself sailing <laughs> while I'm trying to sail because I'm not a very good sailor. So I'm trying to focus one thing at a time. So to start off with, I'm trying to get into the sailing of it all. I'll be practicing that again this weekend, but maybe I'll get some footage when we're actually on the sailboat or diving, things like that. Anyway, so I was thinking it would be good to have a little diving contraption, even despite this time they're actually being friends who could take photos and footage of me. I would like to be self-sufficient to at least have some cool swim throughs. But if I do it this way, I feel like you could see the stick. So I may need to like, what if I hold this awkward part? <laughs> is that is that better? All right, let's just, I think if I tape that there, how that works. And if I like it, then I can glue it on. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to waste a practical, logical thinker rather than a DIYer. But that is something I want to work on. I want to uh, be more creative this year. So that's one of my goals. As you guys know, I studied physics at university and now I teach physics at high school. Uh, I am a lot more comfortable with the kind of theoretical, factual aspects of life than creative. Uh, but then a lot of people tell me like, hey Kat, you've had a YouTube channel now for many years. So clearly you have some creative endeavors. All right, I feel the amount of tape I've used is just counterproductive to my whole eco-friendly vibe. Does it make it better that I already had the tape in my house? All right, once, <laughs> once the GoPro charges a little bit, I'm gonna try it get a little bit of footage here so you can see what it looks like. Charging, and I already figured out an issue where I can't actually attach it at a different angle than this. So let me show you what the footage looks like. Oh, SD card's full, come on. Ah, just hit my funny bone. But yeah, I just recorded it. It looked okay angle wise. So I'm just gonna rewatch it now. Have you guys see the live reaction? Do you see what I mean? Like any time I go anywhere. Okay, now it's not rotating. Okay. Um, I mean, it was on time lapse. It was on time lapse, but in terms of like the actual angle, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think it's too shifty. Okay, so um, semi-success. I will take this diving and let you know how it goes. Let's make the second one now. For the second one I was thinking, because the weight of the GoPro is actually heavy enough that it sits on the bottom, but so I need something larger. And I found this in my house, which is a little doorstop. I mean, I'll take all these with me on the boat. I can adjust them. Screw, screw, screw. Ah! What do you think? Should it face up a hill or more down the hill? Well, it still has a lot of movement. I think that's probably better. Should I should I use hair ties rather than this? Because they are usable. All right, let me grab some hair. <laughs> it doesn't sit straight now. I think we can work with this. All right, let's let's test it. A la, I'm diving. In 
its motion Lies the truth about us Things time will tell We might never know We'll become That was it! What do you think? How great did I look with my super GoPro stick? Out of interest, I did Google how much a GoPro stick is, and it turns out it's $135, which just seems absolutely insane, considering you can use a chewed up dog toy for a similar effect. But in all honesty, there's a secondhand GoPro stick available on Marketplace, so I'm just gonna message them again to see if they would consider selling to me, even though I'm in a different town. Let's see, do, 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 stick, 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 stick. I'd happily transfer with shipping costs to look at my socials and things. <laughs> I am a real human <laughs> and not a scammer. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what she says. Um, but maybe because it would it would be cool to actually be able to extend it and reduce it because I will say uh, about a six out of ten because it did get a little bit wobbly while I was diving but I'm very happy with the amount of footage I got of course when I found that really cool swim through I was using this little contraption which I would say is about a four out of ten as you could see while some of the times it sat properly it was really about how much swell there was in the area how well i placed it and then of course just luck of the draw it did get some really good shots but at some point it did tumble down and maybe hurt some coral so i don't know if i'll be using this again i think it's better to just use my stick or then beg my dive buddies to film some footage of me. Do you DIY your own GoPro mount to try and get some cooler footage? Or do you buy new or do you buy secondhand? I'm just trying to find alternatives with things I already have to try and minimize my carbon footprint as part of my mission to decarbonize my diving. If you haven't checked out my video about buying a sailboat without knowing how to sail, I would recommend that because it's a good time. Thank you guys so much for being here. See ya!